It is the thing I seek here. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be unboxing Lord Shomaru from Inuyasha. Now before I start guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new and if you haven't. I do unboxing of Funko Pops, figures and statue of animes. And also don't forget to share this video with your friends at the end. So here we have the front of the box. Then we have the side of the box. Then we have the back of the box showing you the three pops that you can collect of Inuyasha. We have Inuyasha, Kagome, and Sushomaru, the one that I'm showing today. And then here's the other side of the box. And then here's the top of the box. And here's the bottom of the box. Now I do want to mention where I got this. I got this from Amazon.com. And as you guys can see, this box is in mint condition. So if you saw my other video of Kagome, that one was not in mint condition. So it's always a 50-50 with Amazon. You either get a mint condition box or you get one that is damaged. So be careful when you order one from Amazon. So here we have the trimmer of the box. As you guys can see, he doesn't have a stand. He doesn't need one. Now I'm going to be checking my desk to see if he falls or not. Now you guys can see he doesn't. So that's good. But still be careful where you put him if you are out of the box pop collector. So I'm going to say a little bit of his background story. Now so Shomaru is a full demon. Unlike his half brother Inuyasha. Which is a half demon. The reason why I'm saying half demon is because Inuyasha's parents. Um, his mom is a human and his dad is a demon. Now so Shomaru has the same father as Inuyasha. But the mother is a demon. Now so Shomaru doesn't like Inuyasha whatsoever. He hates him and doesn't like any type of relationship with humans but of course if you've seen the anime that changed later on but yeah so now let's take a closer look at Tsushomaru I do want to say that Funko did a phenomenal job on this pop they did it very well done on capturing Tsushomaru they put all the details there on his outfit, his two swords, and also his arm. As you guys can see, he has no arm. That is because it was cut off by Inuyasha. So do not think that's a defect, because that this is how it's supposed to be. Now we also can see his fur on his right top shoulder. And this goes all the way down to his left foot. Then here he has his two swords. Here he has Tensega. And here he has Tokijin. The two swords that he uses. Is. Here's the crest on his forehead. So yeah, very well done by Funko. Now I do want to say this pop did not move a lot. As you guys can see. Now I do want to mention that there are some minor defects on this pop. As you guys can see there. And then there also are black marks. I do believe the black marks can go away though. But yeah, there's just minor defects on this pop. But overall, it's not a big deal for me. It's still a good pop if you ask me. Now I do want to mention real quick the two swords that Lord Shishomaru wields. Now the first one that he has out pointing, that one's Tokijin. Now that sword was forged from the fangs of Koshinki, the third incarnation of Naraku. Now Koshinki, that is the demon that broke Tensaiga. So that's the reason why Shishomaru had it forged into a sword. 
not the one that he has in his left side, Dustin Sega, and that one was given to him by his father that passed away. Pathetic fool. Just who do you take me for? So there you guys have it. The unboxing of Lord Shomaru. Now I really hope you guys found this video helpful. So you guys can decide if you want to get this pop. Now for me, I do recommend anyone that is a big fan of Inuyasha, the anime, or Shoshomaru. Now if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like. Also subscribe to my channel if you're new and if you haven't. And also share this video with your friends. And then also comment below what you guys think of this pop of Shoshomaru. And like always guys, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Have a great day and see you until next time.